It's officially decision day in Georgia. I just feel it's time for change. After a seemingly endless flood of campaign dollars, TV ads, and a rotating door of political big names, today hundreds of thousands of Georgians are heading to the polls, knowing the ballots cast here will determine everything here. On the line, control of the U.S. Senate. Republicans are fighting to protect incumbent Senators David Perdue and Kelly Loeffler, while Democrats hang their hopes on challengers John Ossoff and Raphael Warnock. If both win, the Senate is tied, with Vice President-elect Kamala Harris casting the deciding vote. We just have a few more hours of work to do. Georgia voters have never had more power than you have today. Both challengers casting themselves as key factors for a successful Biden presidency, while Senators Leffler and Purdue say they are the last line of defense. You know the American dream is on the ballot. The future of the country depends on these two seats holding the line. Today, few glitches, but in some counties, added security as Georgia investigators look into threats against a handful of polling locations. Not enough to concern voters here in solidly blue Fulton County. How long did it take you to vote today? Maybe three to five minutes. The wait slightly longer in the Republican stronghold of Canton, where some voters say they are not dissuaded by the president's repeated election attacks. If I don't vote for who I think needs to be in office, then I'm just letting the other side win.